Hello, my name is Don Syme and I am a Principal Researcher here at Microsoft Research in Cambridge. And I am the architect and designer of the f -sharp programming language and I'm here today to tell you about what we're doing with f -sharp 3.0, which will be part of the Visual Studio 11 release and something that the, the lab here at Cambridge is very proud to uh, be contributing to at Microsoft. So uh, the idea behind f 3.0 is extremely simple. And uh, it's essentially, it's about information and it's about programming and information and combining the experience of rich information spaces with, uh, into the routine of the programming activity. So we all know the world is extremely information rich. We experience that through the browsers. We experience it with our mobile phone devices. We experience it um, <coughs> all the day in our enterprise and work environments. But there's a, a corresponding problem um, in, in programming, which is that our languages and our frameworks are, in a sense, uh, information sparse. If you uh, are working as a programmer and you go looking for a definition of a football player or an amino acid or a chemical element or a, uh, or, or, or a camera, or you, um, you won't find these definitions in in our programming environments. And we want to, we know, we, we, we know these things have definitions. We can go to places like Wikipedia where there's rich metadata describing these different elements. And we want to be able to program as if that information were part of that, of our ambient environment for our programming work. So f 3.0 is about foundations to, to fix this problem. And essentially what we're doing is directly integrating massive and richly organized information spaces and the associated metadata that describes the schemas of those spaces directly into the programming experience. And the, part of the key thing is, is that we're doing that in a strongly typed language and we're doing it in an open and extensible way. And the key thing about strong typing is it allows your environment to give you a lot of assistance in terms of detecting errors and providing you with assistance and suggestions about how you might work with the different information spaces that you're, you're interested in. So uh, the key technical feature we're adding to f -sharp is called type providers and that's a way of taking an external information space and injecting it into your programming environment. And I'm going to give you a short demo of what that might mean for using one particular information space which is something called a semantic web ontology which is a, essentially imagine all the information on Wikipedia being brought into your programming environment, more or less as if it were a library. So let's pop over to Visual Studio here. And I have a window here. You can see I've been working with an information space, which is the, something we're familiar with from school, the, 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 the chemical elements. And uh, now, in our programming environment, we, are, we now have the projection of the, of the web ontology, which is in this case called Freebase, into our programming environment. So we can go to web data here, and we can see that our environment here has been enriched with a, a rich collection of information. We have uh, everything from architecture and astronomy to biology and chemistry. And each of these information spaces would normally take a programmer many weeks or even months to design and test and populate with information. But instead, because we're able to interoperate with rich information spaces, we're able to bring those in in an organized and strongly typed way directly into the programming environment. So for example, if we are interested in um, uh, biology here, and we say we'd like to get access to the amino acids as part of our programming, uh, as uh, perhaps to write a uh, 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 an application for a mobile phone where you can browse and look at the uh, various amino acids and other associated biological and chemical uh, <coughs> elements. And we want to take a look at this information space and show those on the grid here. Then all we have to do is uh, address the information space which is held in the web ontology and ask to show it and it populates automatically. And part of the key thing is that this is a strongly typed environment so that as we make mistakes or as we work with, for instance, the chemical elements, then it's able to tell us, give us strong assistance uh, about what properties are available with that elements of the information space. And not only that, it can propagate rich information across, such as the description uh, of boiling point, that the, the exact description and definition of boiling point drawn from the information source. So underneath, 
the mechanism is called a type provider. It's a design time component that provides a computed, a lazily computed space of types as you work with this space. And that means it scales to enormous data spaces that contain thousands or even millions of types in a way that other techniques, uh, library-based techniques, won't scale. Uh, you can also think of it as uh, the type language version of a dynamic language technique. And it's about breaking down walls between you and the information spaces you work with. So the vision we have is that if you have web data or data markets or enterprise data, you get immediate strong typing at enormous scale in an extensible and open way in a reliable and connected way. And there's all sorts of other information spaces we're interested in interoperating with, from spreadsheets to web services to social data to design-based data. So in summary, the world is information rich and our languages need to be information rich too. And the, F, the future of F-Sharp, our manifesto for the work we're doing here at Microsoft Research in Cambridge and with the Visual Studio F-Sharp team is to consume it directly, strongly typed, without walls between you and your information. And thank you very much.